Smart switch. Okay, turning off two switches. Turn on the garage light. Okay, turning the garage light on. Turn on the living room lights. Sure, turning the living room light on. Turn on the kitchen light. Sure, turning on kitchen light. Hi everyone, kumusta po? Welcome to the channel. This is the son of smart wall switch that I've introduced to you on our previous video. We already did the unboxing and also learned how to properly wire this to our lighting load. For this video, just like I said on the previous one, I'll show you how I actually replaced one of our old conventional wall switch at our house with this smart wall switch. Then, we'll explore the application that we will be utilizing for this smart home device. So, without further ado, let's get started! Before we continue, just a quick reminder again, whenever you're working with electricity, make sure to turn off the appropriate breaker that is connected to the circuit you'll be working on. It always helps to seek assistance from a qualified person or an electrician. Use a voltage tester to double check if there really is no electrical current present in the circuit. Okay guys, here we are on one of our old wall switch. So the one that we'll be replacing is this one that has three gangs. Okay? The one that it powers is this one, this light this light right here and this one will be the light outside you can see right here it turns on okay and this one will be the light on this part as you can see there okay this will be on the outside and this will be on the inside okay so this will be the one that will be replacing okay so first that you need to do is to power off the breaker or the main supply that's connected on these switches so we already turned off the breaker that's connected to this switch so first let's take this front panel off then we'll remove this part okay. so let's see here so as you can see this is the uh, normal connection on a normal wall switch okay so here in the philippines um also maybe in your house there are uh, there have been lots of uh, repairs done by different electricians so on our case so the electricians doesn't really uh, use the correct um, line color for the wires but nonetheless we can still figure this out so I'm pretty sure this part will be the line. This part will be the line wire from our source. And this are the line wire from our load. Okay. So first we need to, um, as you can see, there are no neutral wires that's connected on this switch because it really is not required on this conventional wall switch. So we just need to figure out if we have a neutral wire that's in here. Most of the time, the neutral wire is um, right, at least two to three wires that are connected to each other. And I think this is it. Okay. So I think this is it. This is the neutral wire. Okay. First, um, before you wire this thing, um, maybe it helps if you take a picture of how it is before you uh, disconnect the wires for you to be able to use it during troubleshooting just in case you'll be needing it. Okay, first let's just disconnect the line wire here. There. And this will be our line wire for our loads. Okay. First and second or the third. Okay. Let's also disconnect this connection. Okay. There. This will be our first load connection. This will be our second and this will be our third. Okay. So this wire is also connected to this switch. So uh, this should be connected to the line wire. So what we'll do is just connect this on this wire. On the line for 
for us to be able to use still use this switch okay and this would be the neutral wire let's just peel this off there that's the neutral wire so as you can see the exposed copper on each terminated wire here this is more this is longer so we need to like cut this like for this around this length so it will perfectly fit the terminal block on the connection of the smart wall switch so here a bit on that long as well as here okay just cut it until this length okay there so okay so this three wires are for our lighting loads this is for the line wire and this is the neutral wire so you can see uh, medyo mahaba pa yung exposed copper ng line wire natin so just cut this on that length okay so next we have our smart wall switch right here so excuse the barking of the dogs so next we'll just connect first the line terminal here okay there you go next is the neutral wire okay next is the line wire of the loads this would be our first first load right here just connect this next is this one there and lastly is this one okay so there you go after that we'll take this cover right here that's included in the package then we'll just put this back in here there we go so my cover na siya. in case you lost the cover which could possibly happen in some cases you can always use an electrical tape there okay okay so we'll first test this out we'll turn on our breaker okay so the breaker is already turned on as you can see here uh, there's already an indicator light here and if we'll turn off the lights you can see the led on each switch is already turned on so let's try to turn this on there okay the first switch and the second that's outside and the third this one okay so it works okay so what we need to do right now is we need to first power off again the breaker so once you already confirmed that your wiring is correct we need to mount this wall switch already so before you do that we need to remove this front panel right here okay so we first you take a flathead screwdriver then from here just there so there you go this is the front panel it's already taken out and you can see here is the circuitry of the smart switch okay so you need to maybe um, fold some excess wires inside of it to fit there make sure the connections will stay intact Okay, so once we already secured our wiring, it's time for us to secure the mounting of the switch. Next, we'll just put the front cover back. So, okay, now we already turned on the breaker. As you can see, the switch has already powered. Then we'll just test it again. Okay, it's functioning. There. There. Well, let's turn down the lights. Again, we'll test this. Okay. 
Okay, then the outside lights and finally this one. Okay, so it's already functioning correctly. Now, let's set this up on the app. Next that we're going to do is perform the setup on the application. So if you're using an Android device, go to your Google Play Store or go to the App Store if you're using an iOS device and search for the eWe Link application. Then you have to install it. So once the application has finished installing, let's open it. Hit read on this service agreement and privacy policy. Then agree and continue. So there you go. This is the front of the app. We need to make an account or log in if you have already an account. So what we will do now is to register. So the first step of your registration is to select the country or region. So what we will be selecting is, of course, Philippines there. And hit next. Then we'll enter our email address. Then hit next. Then there will be a verification code that will be sent to the email address you just entered to verify your email. So once you receive the verification code, you have to enter the code right here. Then set your password. So there you go. We already have a WeLink account. Next that you're going to do is hit this plus button on the lower part of your screen. There. Then we'll select quick pairing. There you go. So it is said right here, Wi-Fi SSID restriction, please grant the location permission to have access to your location information. So what we'll do now is just first enter the password of our Wi-Fi, hit next, then hit OK when this message pops out. Then just allow this, then there you go, the Wi-Fi name already appeared, then enter again your password, then hit next. While the app is searching for the device, next that we're going to do is go to our smart wall switch, then Touch and hold one of the switch until the LED indicator light starts blinking. So there you go. We successfully connected our device to this app. So what we'll do next is to rename this device. So we'll just rename this as Smart Switch 1. There you go. And tap complete. So there you go. We have successfully added the smart wall switch to our eWeLink account. Tap got it. So as you can see, this part of the app shows your devices so what we have here is only the smart switch one and these three buttons right here represents the three gangs and from here you'll be able to control your smart switch just single tap to turn on or off there you go or you can tap this and this window will appear so you can tap the all channels on button if you want to turn on all of the channels at once or tap all channels off if you want to turn off all of the channels at once you can also rename each individual switches you only have to tap the three dots on the upper right corner of your screen there and click the settings then tap the smart switch one or the name then there you go you can rename each of the switch or the smart switch itself so we'll change the channel one to like for example living room lights there we'll rename channel two as garden lights then we'll rename channel 3 as gate lights so there you go and as you can see in the upper part of your screen there's a notification for a firmware upgrade just go to settings and tap the firmware just below the smart switch name and just update the firmware there you go so when the firmware is upgrading, you can't be able to access the smart switch for a short period of time. So there you go. The firmware has been successfully installed. As you can see right there, it says the latest version. So there you go. That's how you set up the son of smart wall switch on the eWeLink app. The application also has this share feature that enables you to share your son of devices with your family members. For example, your dad, your brother, or your mother. To do that, just tap the share icon right here and tap share eWeLink account. On this part, you can enter the account details of the family member who you want to share the device with. Then on this part are the timer permission option. So if you want them to be able to add edit delete or enable or disable the timer just put a check on those options and on this part you can see more of your son of devices so if you want them to have access to more of your son of devices you just have to put a check on those 
devices right there. And on this part, just a simple note if you want to give them note once you've given them access to your smart home device. Just like access granted. Right there. Then tap OK. Another feature of the app is the schedule feature that lets you set what day or time the switch will be turned on or off. So to do that, just tap the schedule and tap this add option right here. On this part, you can set the month, the day, the hour, and the minutes. On this part, you can set it this year or next year. And on this part, you can set it to be repeated only once or it will be repeated on like Monday or every day or every other day like that. And on this part, you can select what switch will perform that schedule. And on this part is the state, whether it will be turned on or off. For example, I want the gate lights to be turned on every 6.30 in the evening. That will be 18.30 in military time. And I want it to be this year. And I want it to be repeated every day of the week. There. And I want the status to be on and just tap save and i want to add another schedule i want the same gate lights i want the gate lights to be turned off at 5 30 in the morning 5 30 and it will be this year and i want it to be repeated every day of the week and i will select the state to be off then tap save so there you go our light our gate lights will be turned on every 6 30 in the evening and it will be turned off every 5 30 in the morning the next day okay another feature is the timer feature right here so basically this enables you to set how long a switch will be turned on or off to set that just tap the timer and tap the add here and on this part you can set what day hour or minute for your timer on this part you can set what switch will perform the operation and on this part you can select what state it will be whether on or off for example i want our garden light to be turned on for like four hours there you go and just tap save there you go okay those are all of the features of the eWeeLink application, at least by the time that we're making this video. I'm sure in the near future, there will be more features to be added to this application because of the continuous innovation and improvement on the smart home world. By the way, you can also integrate this with your Google Home application together with your other smart home devices that have different platforms. If you want to know how to do that, I made a separate video about it. You just have to click the card on the upper right corner of your video screen or check the description for the video link. So now I'll show you guys how it looks like on the Google Home app once you have integrated your eWeeLink account. So just open the Google Home application. Then right here, you can see all of your smart devices that have been integrated or connected with your Google Home application. So on the lower part, you can see our smart switch right there. You can see the garage light right there you just have to tap this then switch it off or on and as well as the gate lights switch it off or on as well as the living room light switch it off or on and there's also a fourth switch here for you to be able to turn on or off all of the three switches at once by just a single tap off and on okay this time we'll be testing the voice control on this smart wall switch. So for you to be able to remotely control the switch with your voice, your eWeeLink application should be properly integrated with your Google Home application or your Amazon Alexa application. Hey Google, turn on garage light. Sure, turning the garage light on. Hey Google, turn on living room lights. Okay, turning on the living room light. There you go. Hey Google, turn on the kitchen light. Okay, turning kitchen light on. Hey Google, turn off the smart switch one. Okay, turning off two switches. Okay, there you go. Okay Google, turn on the smart switch one. Okay, turning on two switches. So there you go, you can individually turn on and off each of the switch with your voice. You can also turn on and off all of the switch with your voice as well. Okay Google, 
turn on the kitchen light and the living room lights. Sure, turning two lights on. Turn off the living room lights and turn on the garage light. Okay, turning the living room light off. Sure, turning on the garage light. So there you go. You can also easily control two switches at a time with your voice, like turning off one of the switch and turning on one of the switch, just like what we did right there. Let's test the three switches. Hey Google, turn off the living room lights, turn on the kitchen lights, and turn off the garage light. Sure, turning off kitchen light. So apparently, it can only execute directions for two switches. Let's test it again. Hey Google, turn on the kitchen light, then turn off the garage light. Okay, turning on kitchen light. Sure, turning the garage light off. So there you go, it can only execute operations for up to two devices. So overall, I really like this product. This will be perfect for all those house owners who want to modernize their houses since this fits the dimensions of our old conventional switches. So madali mo lang talaga mapapalitan yung mga lumang switches mo. There you go. One minor detail that I can suggest for improvement is the tempered glass panel on the front. There's no problem on here because it's really plain and smooth. But most of the time when we're turning on and off a switch, 80 or 90% of the time we are not looking at it, okay? So how I wish there would be some uh, textured part on which the switch are located, uh, like here or here, there will be a textured part here, here and here, or maybe an embossed part for you to be able to know that your really touching the correct switch even if you're not looking at it. That's a very minor detail but I think that would be a great improvement for this already great product. Okay, so that's it guys. That's the son of TX series smart wall switch. If you have any questions about this product, comment or any violent reactions, just put it in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. That's all for this video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure to hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified right away for any fresh content from this channel. As always, thank you very much for watching. This is Arlis HD and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. God bless you all.